in last lecture we have seen that the play with the neutron number 220, 28, 50, 82 and 126 these have shown more stability than their neighbors this you must know that the values of the L ranging from 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 they are related with the orbits S, P, D, F, G, N, H and so on so this is I for 6 and you must know that for L is equal to 0 the orbit is not splitting so it will be only one half and for the orbits for which L is not equal to 0 then for those orbits the orbit will split into L plus one half and L minus one half for example for a P we are having L is equal to 1 therefore it is splitting into L plus one half and L minus one half which is 3 by 2 and one half similarly I have shown the splitting of all the orbits in a, in a nuclear and particle physics we are having all the shells like 1s 1p 1d 1f 1g 1h and 1i okay. this is not the case like atomic and molecular physics in atomic and molecular physics you don't have 1p 1d 1f orbitals but here all the energy levels are available so first write down 1s 1p 1d 1f 1g 1h and 1i like this then leave this 1p you can start from here right here 2s 2p 2d 2f 2g leave this 2p then start from here 3s 3p 3d now 1s will remain as it is 1p will remain as it is so 1d will be here and 2s will be the differential like this so 1f is there 2p will be here 1g is here 2d is here and 3s is here so 1h is here 2f is here 3p is over here similarly 1i is here 2g and 3d okay so there is a little bit of shifting of the 1d and 2s orbital p orbital will split into 1p 3 by 2 and 1p 1 half but obviously this 1s 1 half will remain as it is it is not splitting this 1d orbit is splitting into 1d 5 by 2 and 1d 3 by 2 so 2s will be there 2s 1 half here 1f orbit will split into 1f 7 by 2 1f 5 by 2 this p orbit will again split into 2p 3 by 2 and 2p 1 half we can see that this 5 by 2 is having more stability therefore it is shifted downwards so 5 by 2 is written downwards and d 3 by 2 is written upwards similarly p 3 by 2 is more stable than p 1 half similarly you can draw the diagram and here you can see that so i have already drawn this uh, diagram here you can see that first we have taken 1s 1 half is there p is split into 3 by 2 and 1 half okay then d is split into d 5 by 2 1d 3 by 2 2s is remaining as it is then 1f 7 by 2 is there here you can see that the number of nucleons which are present or which can be filled into the 1s orbital is equal to the numerator plus 1 it means so if it is a 1s orbital or 1s 1 half orbital so here numerator is 1 so you can fill 1 plus 1 that is 2 nucleons into the s orbit okay so here the numerator is 1 so 1p 3 by 2 can fill up with the 4 neutrons 1p 1 half can be filled up with the 2 neutrons or 2 nucleons 2 neutrons and 2 protons so 1d orbital will be filled up with the 
six neutrons. So this numerator plus one. Okay, that's that is what we we have written here. So this is one as one half, which is not splitting, and number of neutrons can be filled into it is two. Okay, so this two is a first magic number. I'll write magic numbers here: two, eight, twenty, twenty-eight, fifty, eighty-two, and one hundred twenty-six. Then this one p orbital is splitting into the two energy levels as one p three by two. 1p 1 half 3 by 2 is shifted downwards as it is more stable 3 by 2 will consist of 3 plus 1 that is 4 neutrons and this 1p 1 half will be consisting of 2 neutrons which is written over here so this is a compression of one shell okay so this one shell plus 4 it will give you number 6 6 plus 2 it will give you 8 so here will be the shell closure of the Uh, or there will be second shell closer okay then comes the 1d and 2s d is splitting into 5 by 2 and 1d 3 by 2 which will consist of six neutrons and four neutrons respectively so here we can see that 2 is one half is not splitting and the 2s consist of two neutrons and here we can have 8 plus 6 which is 14 Fourteen plus two, sixteen, and sixteen plus four is equal to twenty. So here is the next the shell closure. We can we also know that the splitting between the one p orbital, okay, then one d orbital, one f orbital is continuously increasing. Okay, that this also we have seen in the previous lecture that this uh, therefore the one f seven by two. Is coming very downwards as it is as it is having more stability. Therefore, the third shell closure will be here. Eight twenty eight at twenty eight twenty plus eight here it will be twenty eight. Okay. Then the next the three energy levels are very close to each other, and one g nine by two that is also coming very down and it is joining this group. Okay. Here we can see that p will consist of four neutrons. So this is yes. So this p three by two will consist of four neutrons. Two p one half will consist of two neutrons. One f five by two five by two will consist of six neutrons, and g nine by nine by two will consist of ten neutrons. Here you see that twenty s plus four, so it will be thirty two. Thirty two plus two thirty four. Thirty four plus six forty. Then forty plus ten is equal to fifty. Here will be the shell closure of the of the fifth shell closure. So we are going to get here fifth magic number. Okay. So this is how the nuclear shell model can be drawn. Once you know the relation between L and S, once you know the how the orbit is splitting and how energy levels are arranged or how many energy levels are available in a nuclear and particle physics you can draw this nuclear shell model like this now if you want to calculate the spin parity of some nuclei say 8o16 or i will take 8o17 okay then you can draw the energy level diagram like this here no necessary to see What is the energy splitting between these two? So this will be one s one half, one p three by two, one p one half, then one d five by two, two s one half, one d three by two, and here it will be one f seven by two. Okay. So as we can see that here the number of protons is eight, number of neutrons is also number of neutrons is nine. Eight or seventeen is there, so this is number of protons, and this is the number of neutrons over here. So we can see that number of protons is eight. I'll write here protons on the right hand side and neutrons on the sorry neutrons on the right hand side and protons on the left hand side. So the number of protons is eight. So S will be consisting of the two protons. So I'll write here two. So p will consist of one p three by two will consist of the four neutrons, 
4 plus 2 is 6 and 1 v 1 half will consist of the 2 neutrons. So 4 plus 2 plus 2 so this will be number of 8. Okay. Now this n is 9 so I will write here p. Okay, and p. We have written p already here. So here we can write the number of neutrons will be 2, 4, 2 and 1 neutron will be remaining. So here I will write n. 1. So, this will decide the properties of this nuclei. Therefore, the spin parity J pi is written as 1 plus. Sorry. So, it is written as pi by 2 plus. So, the spin parity of the nuclei will be pi by 2 plus. So, this is called as a single particle. exchange potential or exchange model why well, it is called as a single particle exchange potential because the unpaired nucleon so this single unpaired nucleon will decide all the properties of the nuclei okay the spin parity of the nuclei is given by 5 by 2 plus